This thing is Ozone Elements 9. This plugin is by far the easiest way that I have found to master your music. And I just want to say that this video is not sponsored. I bought this plugin, actually it was on sale, but they were giving it away. I guess it was on sale for free, which is really cool. So I got it on sale about a month ago for free and I'm really loving it. The best thing about it is this thing right here, the master assistant. Let me show you how it works. So when you're ready to master your song with elements, you need to go to the loudest part of your track and then you're gonna open Ozone Elements and you're gonna go to master assistant. Here I'm gonna select high intensity and I'm gonna select streaming because this is for streaming and you're gonna click next and I'm gonna play the loudest part. that easy. The plugin just mastered the song for me. <laughs> you don't have to leave it like that. The idea is that it is just a suggestion, but let me show you exactly what it's doing. It has three steps. The first one is an equalizer. As you can see here, it added a bit of high end and I'm gonna turn up the other ones just to show you what the EQ is doing by itself. So it is subtle, it's just adding a little bit of high end. Then you have the imager. This thing is to make the track wider. It basically exaggerates the stereo image. This is a very usual step when you're mastering a track. In this case, it didn't suggest that I should do it, but I'm gonna add just a little bit of width. And then the final step is the maximizer or a limiter. And here you can see that it's limiting my track at minus one dB and it's pulling everything from minus nine. So this is the big step that's gonna add all of that volume to make your track more competitive in a more loud environment that we have now in streaming services. And you don't have to use it just by itself as a mastering suite. You can use the EQ by itself. It has a really nice interface. It has analog and digital. You can also use it as a mid side or a left and right EQ which is really useful. I'm actually planning on using it as a mid side EQ just by itself. That means that you can control EQ for the mid and the side separately. You can also bypass the plugin here or change it to mono to make sure that it sounds good in mono as well. And the maximizer has honestly more tools than I know what to do with. It also has an undo button and an undo history, which is really useful. And now I'm gonna compare it with my own master. I'm gonna turn off elements and I'm gonna show you what my own mastering process sounded like. I also added a little bit of high end and I also added some compression and the limiter. So it's similar to the process that Ozone Elements did. So let's listen to my version of the master.
So it sounds similar, I can do it myself. I knew that I needed a little bit more high-end and delimiter to make it loud. But that took me maybe 15 minutes and ozone elements took me, what, 15 seconds? So it does make the process really easy and it, it's super fast. Now let's compare my master to ozone elements. So right away I think my version is a little bit brighter and it makes sense because I did add a lot of high-end, 5.7 dB above 12K. That's a lot of high-end. I like using Span by Voxango and G-Clip just to look at the waveforms to see what my track looks like. I use those two plugins all the time at the end of my chain. So let's now take a look at the waveforms. First my master and then I'm gonna change to Ozone. with nothing. Okay, so what I noticed, and you can go back and look at it yourself, is that I like that mine is a little bit brighter. I like bright mixes, but I think Ozone has a better control dynamic range. And I really like how Ozone controls my dynamics and it makes the waveform fat and loud, but it still has peaks where the drum hits, for example. So it doesn't completely kill the dynamics, but it still makes it loud. That's something that I struggle a little bit with. And that's probably where I spent most of the time of my master, uh, getting the dynamics right. So having a plugin that does it for me and it's just instant and it sounds better than I can do it, that's very helpful. And it was free, although the normal price is like 120 bucks or something like that. It is pricey, but you know, it's really nice. I think it's worth it. If you can afford it, I highly recommend it. That's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. You can also watch this video where I show you a couple tips on mixing. I think you're gonna like it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.